Hi there, dear pal. Welcome to another episode of ABC Useful Tips. I'm glad we meet again, and in this simple video, we will show you step by step how do you create a fun activity like this called Sure or Not that you can use as a ticket at the end of the lesson to get your student to tell you, all right, what they have surely learned and what are the ideas or the concepts that they are still not sure of, right? So that you can actually go back to them again or to plan for the next lesson, right? I hope you'll get values out of this and at the end of the video, stay right till the end, you'll get a link that you can download a copy of your own of this activity. The copy will also include another page where you can design or add in or include any subtitle for the boxes that you want suitable for you. To be first to notify our future useful ad tab video, please remember to click subscribe at the bottom and also click the notification bell and give us a like. And without further ado, we'll dive right in. Now I'm going to show you step by step how do we create a simple activity using Jamboard that we can call Sure or Not. Right, where we ask the students to indicate what they have learned the show and what they are unsure of. Alright, so uh, we will need two boxes in the page. To create the two boxes, what we can do is just to click on this shape here, alright, icon, the triangle at the side, click on it. Alright, then you can choose any shape you want. In this case, I will choose the square. I'll click on the square and then with this plus sign, I will click on the edge of the square, anywhere I want to put the square. And then I will hold the click and drag it to the size or the shape that I want. Alright, I want a bigger one. Okay, so in this case, I can pull it up. Alright, make it interesting. So if I were to want a bigger area, okay, just maybe on top of small space for just the title alone. Alright. And a little bit of subtitle for definition. I will just click on the bottom right hand corner just to resize it. Okay. And the square dot at the bottom to lengthen it vertically. Alright. So once I'm sure this is the size I want. Alright. And then I will stop and, and I can fill it with a color to make it very interesting, attractive by clicking this box here, fill this icon, fill color. Okay. And I click it for pink. So the other box will be unsure or the uh, questions or uncertain, right? So what I will do is to I can duplicate this particular box, okay, by clicking the three dot at the top right hand corner, okay, and then I click duplicate. So another of the same size will be duplicated, and I put it side by side, okay. Because I may want this to be a different color to indicate a different purpose, okay. So I click on the fill color again and I choose. I'm not sure, so I choose a color blue that can represent unsure. Alright, so I will click on, I will now uh, add on the title, which will be for text. I'll click on the text box here, this icon, alright, and then I'll go to the center top where I want to, the text to be, and I click on it. And then I can, because it's a title, I will choose a subtitle. I don't want it to be too big as well, so I'll just use subtitle font. Alright, so I dub double click inside and I can click. Here, sure, or not. Okay. Alright. So, what I can do is if it's, it looks too small, I can increase the size. But I just want it to fit nicely into the box by clicking the square box at the right hand corner. And then from here, I click the round button or uh, uh, dot at the bottom right. I can resize it easily. Okay, to the shape exactly that I want right here all right and i can move it slightly to the top okay sure all right Jam, yeah, i even want to change the font size font color okay by clicking here a and that's the text color change it to orange all right make it more attractive i'll add in two more text boxes up here to indicate what are the purposes of these two square boxes by clicking text box again and this time when i click on text box you realize that it is the text color will be the same as the previous one i need to change it to something uh, more attractive so maybe i change it to red okay click here and i need to change it to normal size all right all right indicated here the title is subtitle as a sure for this box but right? oh, i may have the name for the sure as what i have learned 
try to make it clearer for the students that we will emphasize certain points, right? And then for the other title, what we can do is just to double to duplicate again right, by clicking the three dots right on top of the text box, and then click on duplicate. Okay, then we just move over here, and for comparable color, we'll change it to blue. Okay, and then we will just change it to control or pen. What I'm not certain. Okay, so this will be a good activity where we can, at the end of the lesson, um, check out, check in with students what they know or what they've learned and what they want to learn more or they are not certain of. To make it more attractive or more prominent, what we can do is we can change the background color, right, to something even darker. This will make the boxes stand out. Thank you so much for watching this video, and then I hope that you can get good values out of this activity. Alright, you come to the end, and this is the link that you can copy and paste onto your Google Chrome to make a copy of your own sure or not as it get activity. Right, and this will be a um, activity where the backgrounds are not movable. Right, all the items that are inside this page right are not movable for the students to be able to write on top or paste any sticker or any text on top of it. Students will not be able to move even the wordings here or the boxes. So, if you would like the boxes to be renamed okay, to any title that you wish, you can actually go into the page two. Alright, you need the page one by clicking here at the arrow and then you can delete any of these pages. Alright, and then you can choose the second page without the title and you can keep the title itself. Now, I hope you love this video and um, the, the video or this activity will make it fun for your students' learning and engagement. Alright, look forward to seeing you again. Please remember to subscribe at the bottom or subscribe this brown button. Alright, and um, you, you may be interested to click on any of these videos to look for to look at more videos of EdTech uh, tutorials. And I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.